Hey there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. This video goes out to my very, very sexy new Muslim friend, Vittorio203. Now, I know what you're thinking, not another Vittorio. Two th two, 1 through 202 were just fucking nuts, but not this new Vittorio. They've really worked the bugs out this time. I think you're going to be satisfied with this Vittorio. He is grade A. Well, grade B plus, but he's good. He's a he's fucking amazing. I'm gonna have to ch when when he becomes an atheist. I'm gonna have to change my name because he will be the true amazing atheist. That's how fucking amazing he is. Um, I want to just respond quickly to a few of his points uh, that he made, or r points maybe isn't the right word. Attacks would be probably more proper. Um, First of all, he says uh, that he doesn't know any Muslims who follow um, Ayatollah Khomeini, uh, who is the one who put the fatwa on Salman Rushdie, which, you know, maybe he's telling the truth, but it sounds a bit, a bit fishy um, that someone who is an Ayatollah and a, you know, very, very public figure and a very, that was very powerful uh, in his home country exerted absolutely no influence over the Muslim community. Um, sounds a little bit on the ridiculous side, but we can accept that. That's, we'll, we'll take him for his word. We're not going to call people liars with no evidence. Um, but it is a little suspicious. Uh, he seems to have this weird conception that being rational means not swearing. Uh, I'm really serious. Go check out his video if you don't believe me. He actually is of that opinion. And I don't really think it's, it's, it's the place of someone calling me a moron and an idiot uh, to talk about my, the way I conduct myself. It just, it's just totally hypocritical. If you're going to criticize me for being an asshole, then you have to be civil. Otherwise, you're being totally hypocritical. Uh, if you want to criticize other aspects of me, then by all means, be an asshole. I deserve it. I'm an asshole to you. I'm not going to get mad about it. No sweat off my balls. Thank you very much. Um, this is really the most offensive thing he said to, in the whole, the whole video was he called the Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie a crappy toilet paper book. Like he's read the fucking Satanic Verses. Um, you know, why don't you crack open the fucking book, give it a fucking read, before you start talking about what's crappy toilet paper books. Um, he says, I'm afraid of there being a, a Muslim rational response squad. Um, no, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm pretty fucking amused. I'm actually a bit delighted because I've been wanting to argue with Muslims for the longest time. I've tried to pick fights with you guys in the past and you've never taken the bait until now and I'm very happy about that. And thank you very much for, you know, living up to the Muslim stereotype. Uh, he says he's not going to convert to atheism. Please, Vittorio, reconsider. We need you on the atheist side. Please convert to atheism. We just don't know what to do without you over here. It's all idiots here on the atheist side. You guys, you Muslims have got all the smart people. We need you. Please. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no one is losing, the, no one is um, losing any sleep over you not converting to atheism, asshole. Sorry. Um, then he says that no Muslim will ever convert to atheism, which is just ridiculous. I mean, obviously false. Um, I have uh, received... Um, uh, messages from at least at least four Muslims to this point that have told me that they are former Muslims that are now atheists and uh, they're not usually too open about that viewpoint in their respective countries because you know it's dangerous to be an atheist in a lot of Muslim countries um, so yeah it, it's not you're not much it's not much of a bragging right to say well none of our Muslims convert to atheism well, yeah, because you'd fucking kill them. So, obviously no one's going to convert. Um, 
He says, I've never read the Quran. Uh, I haven't read it cover to cover, but I've read a, a good deal of it, so that's false. Um, he says that it's ridiculous when I suggest that the Quran is the most violent book in history. Not only does he say it's ridiculous, he says that it's the most ridiculous thing that has ever been suggested. Uh, a bit of, maybe that was a bit of a hyperbole on my part to say that it was the most violent book ever written, um, but it is certainly the most violent religious text. Um, he says, I didn't state any of the contradictions in the Quran, so that's true, I didn't in that particular video. He says, I made uh, der unnecessarily derogatory comments about the prophet. Well, first of all, he's not a prophet. Um, second of all, maybe unnecessary from your vantage point, but from the vantage point of myself and my subscribers, not nearly so unnecessary. It was funny. We were amused by it. And uh, we like to laugh here in the atheist camp. I know you Muslims aren't too fond of laughter, but we are. Sorry. Cultural differences. Um, you said uh, that you've never seen a more moronic person in your entire life than me. Then you apologize if I'm offended by that. No, well, actually, you just assumed I would be offended by that and apologize. I'm, I'm not offended. I don't really give a shit what you think about whether or not I'm a moron. Um, however, I mean, I, I know you probably want me to say the same thing back to you, that you're the biggest moron I've ever met, but really you're just, you know, one more turd in the sea of shit. Um, you said that when our country was in the Dark Ages... Your people were uh, there to enlighten us. Uh, my country didn't exist in the Dark Ages, so mm, no. He says, if I can write a book like the Quran, I should go ahead and write it. Uh, why? I'm not interested in writing a book like the Quran. Uh, I am writing a, a novel presently, uh, and I hope that it is significantly better than the Quran. And, uh, sure, I'll send you a copy if you want one. I'm sure you'll disagree with my assessment of it being better than the Koran. But your opinion doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, so whatever. Um, you said that, uh, all, I, I was kind of like stuck on that little chant. Muhammad the pedophile, Muhammad the pedophile, Muhammad the pedophile. And that was my sole argument, which really is, is ridiculous because it wasn't even my primary argument. It was probably, I mean, it wasn't even really my argument. I was... It was refuting something that a Muslim had said about Muhammad being a pedophile. And he just basically said that he wasn't a pedophile because he fucked a nine-year-old instead of a six-year-old. I don't give a shit if Muhammad was a pedophile. I don't give a shit if Muhammad liked to uh, fuck little boys up the ass with swords. It doesn't bother me one fucking bit. Muhammad can do whatever the fuck Muhammad wants to do. It doesn't bother me. And uh, if he wasn't a pedophile, then he wasn't a pedophile. I don't give a shit if he was a pedophile one way or the other. Being a pedophile was the least of his evils. Um, anyway, thank you very much for doing your video. This has just been a quick response. Piss be upon you. Fuck off.